Hello, my name is David and I am a certified internet research specialist. I will share some of the Google search tips and tricks in the next three minutes. You are watching volume one of the series of informative videos prepared by the Association of Internet Research Specialists. Here is the query search tip one. You may not need the Boolean AND. Instead, use quotation marks as a better replacement. We all know that quotes in closed search terms convert keywords to search phrases. However, it performs another function as well. It also acts to enforce the mandatory inclusion of words in returned results. Basically, the quotes act to preserve the same function as with the use of Boolean AND. We will explain further with examples 1, 2, and 3. You can notice that, in the case of 1, all words are forced inclusion for search, and so is the action of Boolean AND as in Query 2. In Query 3, notice that all of the terms are set as a single search phrase with quotes and closure, while Query 3 guarantees all words for sequential integrity as one phrase match. Both Queries 1 and 2 ensure the presence of returned words without any guarantee for exact phrase match as in 3. So, know that Query 1 acts the same as Query 2 and Query 3 is not the same as queries 1 and 2. Continuing with the query search tip 2, know that the Boolean OR, also replaced by a vertical bar, has a meaning for search that differs from how most of us understand it. This Boolean operator is technically interpreted as at least one is required, or more than one, or all can be returned. It means that wherever a choice of terms is resolved with Boolean OR, shown in the query example 1, the word pie attaches with either word apple or cherry, as in apple pie or cherry pie. See derivative as the first outcome. Notice here that the search defaults to find the terms apple pie and cherry pie as the first response. And if it cannot find both terms together in indexed pages, it then attempts to find at least one of the two choices, as in derivative b. Therefore, the Boolean OR operator effectively appears to constitute combined action as if the AND takes precedence over the OR of the Boolean function, shown in C. Tip number three says that the Boolean NOT won't perform in Google search. Instead, use a minus sign. The Boolean NOT is treated as a text word, not an operator. Google search only recognizes the minus sign instead of NOT to exclude words and phrases in search results. Have a look at example A. This formation of the search query is incorrect for the use of NOT, and its use cannot prevent the word membership from appearing in search results. In query example B, we have made an appropriate correction to query A by use of a minus sign placed in front of the word membership be mindful that the minus sign is hugging the excluded search term. In other words, do not leave any gap between the exclusion terms and the minus sign. With the three tips for using Booleans in Google search, we conclude volume one of the web search tips and tricks. We continue to add subsequent volumes as more become available. Thank you for watching. See you next time.